Let's look at badminton's most influential mixed doubles over the past 10 years. The BWF have selected their five, of whom three are from China. So, John Siwei is just so explosive on the court. You never have seen a guy move so quickly and so effortlessly around the backcourt. And he can just, like any girl that gets to play with him, should be so lucky to have to cover such little of a court because he's just so quick and he's everywhere. Wang Yachung is definitely a great partner for Zheng uh, Siwei. And I believe that she is also one mixed double player, which is really talented, uh, hardworking. And, and she has possessed all those uh, aggression in her game that complement Zhang, Zhang Siwei really well. And that's that's why they are the best in, in the world. It's quite difficult to, to go through uh, Shang Jiwei. He's very strong. And then when he starts to, to winning the shot from his strength, to smash and everything, he can use his strength and that. You cannot go through to him. Huan Yang Chong has just specialised in mixed doubles more recently and having played uh, doubles as well in the past. She's obviously just focusing on the mixed doubles and is doing so well. She's very strong and hardworking and is just so good at defending all the huge guys' smashes that come down at her. She is just brilliant at the net, like super fast, super calm, super aggressive. And I feel like, of course, trust is the ultimate factor and chemistry is the ultimate factor, but the way they would execute it is probably different. Like with Zheng Ziwei, he is highly explosive. He's jumping from one end of the court to the other at, incredible, at an incredible pace. And his partner as well, she plays really fast at the net and she knows exactly when to duck out, knows exactly what shot to go for. And all that comes with trust and faith and of course, incredible training. To me, Chen Siwei and Wang Yachung has been a really good icon that has attracted a lot of fans and I believe they are the ideal ambassador for badminton. The reason why is that uh, first, uh, they are aggressive, they are serious in, in, in their game during the matches, but off the court, they are friendly, they are really uh, approachable and they, they always carry their, their smile on their face. That is that kind of uh, character that we need in, in, in our top end players. When I think of Tentoe Ahmed as a player, I remember a lot of strapping around his body because I think he was injured quite a lot. He would definitely put his body in a line, stretching all over the court and was obviously very um, tall and limber and could cover the court very well and really just threw himself around the court to cover in mixed doubles. For me, Pontoi and Nasir is one of the best pair in the world. Pontoi has been dynamite and, uh, and robust player in terms of uh, his attacking and also he is also one of the most hard work players to move about in the court and I believe that their results speak for themselves. I think one of the truly amazing things is his smash. He's got a really hard smash and really tricky drops and really good movement on court. Yeah, I quite like the fact that he's really aggressive as a player. He also is not scared to rush to the net. So Liliana Natsia as a player was just so naturally skilled. She had the ability to really read the game quite easily. And I think because of that, she didn't have to work as like physically hard as other athletes because she knew exactly how to like read the game and she was already there. So that gave her an advantage on the court. She has been putting herself on the map in mixed doubles starting as early as 2005. She won the World Championship 2005, 2007, and then she won it again 2013 and 2017. She has able to spend two eras. That is phenomenal. And uh, I believe that uh, her talent in terms of defense, uh, setting up the balls, her intercept skills are on her overhead, overhead side is out of this world and it has able to give her pair huge advantage on many, many occasions. I love how calm she is on court. I love how good she is at the net. But then she knows exactly what she's doing. She can read the opponent really well at the net. And even from the back of the court, very calm, 
doesn't have a powerful smash but she's got like really good angles at which she plays she knows her business about mixed doubles in and out and that comes across on court very well they are one of the best cuz they have won the over the olympic gold medals they have won the world championship and they have won three times back to back all indian titles from 2012 to 2014 that is amazing and we can see that tom toby complements nasil's talent perfectly and sometimes uh, i i think uh, you you can't describe everything by by words when i think of yokim fisher as a player i think of very um jumpy footwork and a lot of kind of reaching and not the most orthodox technique to play but he just got everything back and was so quick on everything yokim fisher has a very fun style of playing and energetic style of playing he's got a lot of enthusiasm and i love the fact that he's got a never give up attitude on court no matter what you see him fighting until the very end and i love that attitude yokim is like really careful on court very good except his uh, footwork a little bit maybe too tall right but the way he's playing really really good control and then really good fighter on court to me peterson ha- ha- she is always a, a very composed player she is intelligent and she is calm and she does not fall under immense pressure she has been always uh, the one who is pulling the string together and cruise through the all the adversity during during the matches she works on her defense i think a lot to be able to compete in the mixed doubles against the men's and again the europeans are just so good with their tactics and they just had all these set plays um that their partnership just was yeah had like seamlessly worked out they had a unique style of play where then you see Yokum Fisher moving in Christina Perez and Carver playing from the back and sometimes you would see them playing side to side by and large most pairs kind of have like a similar game style but you have the occasional few pairs that have their own unique style and i would see Fish Yokum Fisher and Christina Perez in that pack to me Joaquim and Peterson they have, both of them have been one of the most important uh, personality in terms of the mixed doubles department that has inspired many youngsters that uh, they could they could become the best in the world and they could challenge against the best in the world be it from the Euro- Europe or be it from the Asia as well So when I think of Jung Nan as a player, I think of him as being very lanky and could just wind up and get a lot of power and very good with like the wingspan and covering the court and getting around and he would not give up and he'll just get back these shots that you think you've hit a winner on. When I see him on court, he seems really calm, he seems really composed, he seems some like someone who knows what he's doing and he's really sure of the shots that he's playing. To me, Jang Nan partnership with Zhao Yunlei was one of the uh, best as well. To me, he has been hardworking and uh, resilient players. He started with mixed doubles, and it rarely comes to us that a pure mixed double players can transform himself into a Olympic gold medalist mixed double player. And that shows that he is very versatile and he is very. He's very strong in terms of uh, adaptability. He can adapt to multiple situations. He can adapt himself to to different challenges. And I think we have to see it from that angle. And then I believe that holding two Olympic gold medals does speak the volume. So when I think of Jiayin Lai as a player in mixed doubles, I just think of her coming forward in the mixed doubles and just consistently finishing the shuttle and intercepting so well. And I think her and Jiayin Lai, that power and how they played as a pair was really reflected in their results and how good they were for so long. She's an all-round player, so of course when she's playing mixed doubles, her alertness at the net definitely complements her partner's calmness. someone who is really strong intimidating tall she's got really strong legs so you can see her bounce off quite well from the net and to speed move in and can definitely finish i'm really enjoy to watch these two play jong yu lei like always show the charisma on court and she's always like play with happiness 
everything simple in the way she played everything simple even Changnan also Changnan everything looks like everything easy to control in the mid court in the net here to create I'm really really enjoyed to watch these two this really really amazing mixed double for me To me, Xu Chen and Margin is also one of the best pair of uh, mixed double players that's coming out from China. Xu Chen has always given the impression of that he is really dynamic, strong, and he possesses a huge load of uh, power in his game. As long as he is in possession, he is in the attacking mode, most of the time he will score and win the matches. I just remember him being super tall, very lanky, and again that really good reach. He was. Probably a bit more playful on court and had a bit more fun with the game. He came across pretty intimidating because of his physique, because of his height on court. Was someone who was really strong, tall, and had again a strong backcourt game, good angles with his smashes, and of course the approach to the game. He is definitely one of the main mixed doubles、uh, player that has also contributed to the evolution of the matches. And game of mixed doubles. So Margin was quite small and strong, and she was very yeah quick around the front court and very quick to go in when they got the attack back. And yeah, just kind of a fighter, but also enjoying the game as well. Whatever happened in on court, she's like really positive. When she's playing well, perfect, so amazing about Margin. But when she start to cannot create, and then like opponent not give her chance to play in the net or let her to play far from the net, she's like blank. It's still easy to get like this、uh, distraction from the opponent. That is what the Margin. But when she's playing in her best, boom, so perfect. To me, Margin. Has been really dynamic player as well. She has been excelling in mixed doubles and and women's doubles as well, and that is very very demanding. Especially we know that in women's doubles, the matches can go one hour long, and they have to consistently play two matches by the day, and that is no easy feat. And yet these players like Margin, they have been doing it back to back, one tournament after another tournament, and yet they have been consistent in producing highly regarded results. And that itself is amazing. I think Margin and Xu Chen's influence on badminton as a pair in mixed doubles was that they were just very consistent and had it really worked out. Like getting into that attacking position, they always found a way to convert the defense over to the attack and get Margin in the front and Xu Chen slamming down from the back. 